Hi everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to look at nerve flossing or gliding for the femoral nerve that runs along the front part of your leg. Hi everyone, so when it comes to nerve mobility, you have nerves that run down your legs, that run down your arms and throughout your body, and those nerves travel through the muscle, the tissues, the bone, the ligaments, everything else in your leg and in your body, like a piece of string going through some object. And a healthy, normal nerve that's moving well is able to glide and floss itself through that area as your body moves. So if you bend or straighten your leg or move your leg, that nerve moves and bends with it appropriately with the right amount of tension. What can happen sometimes is that tension gets too much and the mobility and the ability of that nerve to glide decreases and this can cause some irritation, it can cause increased sensitivity of the nerve, and can lead to nerve pain and just pain in general. So one of the exercises of a therapy for nerve pain is these nerve flossing or nerve glide type exercises. So I did an exercise video on for the sciatic nerve and you can check that out, follow the link that I'll post here on the video. And now today I wanna to share with you how to do some nerve gliding exercises for the femoral nerve nerve running down that front part of your leg. So the first one I'll show you is in a prone position, so laying on your stomach, and you're actually going to come up so that you're on your elbows. And in this position, we're going to incorporate movements of the head and the neck, as well as the legs. So there's two different variations of this. So the first one is going to incorporate bending and straightening of the knee as well as flexion and extension of the neck. So you have to do the two different movements simultaneously, so it takes a little bit to get used to, but is relatively simple with a little bit of practice. So what you're gonna do is as you bend your knee, you're gonna flex your head. As you bring your knee down, you're gonna extend your head and neck. Flex extend, flex, extend. Easy way to remember this is both are going to flex at the same time and both are going to extend at the same time. With all of these you want to focus on just about you know one set of 10 repetitions. You really want to start slowly and build your way up. You don't want to do too much too soon because that can put some increased tension, some increased irritation to the nerve and actually cause some more pain and discomfort. So start slow, just maybe one set of a, you know, 10 or 12 repetitions and then build up from there. The other way to do this is with hip extension and flexion, raising the hip up and down. So the same idea as you flex your head, you're gonna extend your hip and then you're going to extend as you come down. So that's the prone or on your stomach way to do it. And next I'll show you how to do some nerve glides in different positions. Now I'm going to show you how to do the femoral nerve glide in a sideline position. So the leg that you're working on and you're performing the glides and the flossing with is going to be the leg that's on top. So you're going to go ahead and lay on your side. Now again, we're incorporating movement of the hip and the leg with movement of the head and neck. We don't want to tension that nerve completely. We want to move tension one side, loosen the other and glide it back and forth to loosen up those adhesions and decrease that sensitivity. So what you're going to do is as you bend the hip, as you flex it, 
you're gonna flex the head, and then when you extend your hip, you're gonna extend your head. And you're just gonna alternate back and forth. You can really do this either with the knee bent or if it's easier with the knee flex or knee straight, you can do that too. So again, this way. Just like the other exercise, focus, focusing on a set of a few repetitions at a time, working your way up, you know, doing 10 or 10, 10 or 12 reps and building up from there slowly so not to irritate the nerve and cause further pain and discomfort. Next, I'll show you how to perform the same nerve gliding in a standing position. Now I'll show you how to do the same femoral nerve glide in a standing position. So you're going to stand and you're going to do some swinging with the leg that you're working on and trying to do the glide. Now you can do this in a knee bent position using either your hand or a strap. I like to hold on to the wall or something sturdy with my other hand. Or if this is an uncomfortable, possibly someone with knee pain after knee replacement surgery, you can also just do it with the leg straight as well. Again, incorporating movement of the leg with movement of the head and the neck. So as you flex your head, you're going to then flex your hip, extend your head, extend your hip. And then I'll show you with the knee bent, but same exact thing. If you flex your head, you flex your hip, extend, extend. Again, we're trying to cause that flossing motion, that gliding motion of your nerve your femoral nerve in this case, throughout your leg, trying to decrease some of those adhesions, improve the mobility of the nerve, decrease any irritation, decrease any sensitivity, and hopefully help to alleviate any nerve pain or discomfort that you're experiencing. This has been the Knee to Know Show with the Knee Replacement Therapist. Be sure to subscribe if you found this helpful. We post videos about everything related to knee pain, knee replacements, uh, recovery, knee replacement surgery, frequently asked questions, preparation for surgery, and everything in between. Thank you very much for watching and take care.